In this presentation, I'll show you how to generate reports from your model in both document and web-based formats. We start by selecting the part of the model we want to generate in the project browser. It could be the entire model or a specific package. Let's start with a document of our domain model here. So I've selected that in the project browser, then I open the publish ribbon and click the documentation button. And that invokes EA's document generator. I begin by choosing an output file location here and then selecting from one of the predefined templates. Now these are all customizable. For a really quick document that contains the diagrams in your model, you can choose the diagram report. But I want some element detail, so I'm going to choose the predefined model report template. Next, I can choose from a few formats. I could generate a PDF document or Microsoft Word document, even a rich text format. For this demonstration, let's use a PDF document. The rest of the options I'll just leave as they are. So that'll include for me a cover page and a table of contents. Now clicking Generate, EA analyzes my model and begins to compile the document. So the document's been successfully created. Now let's view that. So you can see here the cover page that Enterprise Architect has created for me. Uh, followed by that is the table of contents. And then each of the packages have been generated out along with their contents, including uh, the diagrams, for example. Now let's just jump down to uh, the class diagram where I have a bit of detail. So under the classes package, you see the diagram is generated. And I chose to generate this report with a fairly high quality uh, diagram format. So I can zoom right into the diagram and uh, get all the detail. And that's really great for printing as well. So you see after that, the uh, individual classes are generated out. They're listed there, including the documentation that I typed in. Then each of the class attributes and their uh, relationships are tabulated neatly as well. So there's a really quick way uh, to get a report, decent looking document with uh, minimal effort. Well, let's head back to EA now and see some uh, web-based documentation. To generate HTML documentation, I again use the Publish ribbon, but this time click on HTML report, or generate a standard HTML report. Again, I can choose which part of the model I want to generate. So clicking the folder icon, this time I want to generate the entire project. I'm going to output the web files directly to the desktop for simplicity and leave the other generation options uh, as they are. Clicking Generate, Enterprise Architect renders that to web files. It's a very fast process. So now I can view that directly in my web browser. Going to full screen here. You can see I've got a tree control to help me navigate the um, project structure as I would in Enterprise Architect. So I can open up the packages and diagrams. And as I click on one of the elements, that'll bring up the model details for that element. So a list of the attributes that it owns, also um, the relationships that it has, along with the documentation that I created for each of those relationships. Similarly, for my business process, navigating to that diagram, I can again click on the elements to bring up the details, such as the sequence flow uh, to and from that element, and uh, some detailed model information as well. So I've shown you here a couple of really quick ways to generate documentation from Enterprise Architect, both in the traditional document form and using web-based documentation.